So you may recall from derivatives that we had the chain rule, right? Which said, for example, that if we took the derivative of sine of x cubed, we would get the derivative of the outside functions, the derivative of sine is cosine, evaluated at the inside function, and then chain rule, right, times the derivative of that inside function. So we, when we are integrating, we might wonder how are we going to undo this integral, or undo this chain rule, right? It's because if we saw integral of cosine of x cubed times 3x squared dx, we can see here that the result is going to be sine x cubed plus c, but it's certainly not obvious there, right? The difficulty here is that a piece of this is from the inside, the derivative of the inside function. So, to try to figure out what's happening here, let's imagine we had some function, uh, where we had some sort of composition, f of g of x. So we know that the derivative there is big F prime at g of x times g prime of x. So what we're going to do uh, in sort of the integral form of this is we're imagining that we're integrating some big F of g of x times g prime of x dx and we're going to end up with some big F of g of x. We're going to make a substitution, so we're going to call this g of x function by some simple name. Uh, we're probably going to call it u. You can use any letter here that you like. Uh, u sometimes is inconvenient, so you might pick like p or r, uh, whatever you like. Uh, and then the derivative of u would be g prime of x, right? And if we treat this as differentials, we can multiply the dx up and say du is g prime of x dx. What this allows us to do is take our original integral here and make some replacements. We can replace the inside function here with u. And all of this, you'll see, corresponds with du. And so this takes a very complicated integral and makes it into a much simpler one, where then we can integrate this function, getting f of u, and then undo the substitution, replace the u back with g of x, and get the integral that we were expecting. Now that may not have made any sense, so let's try it with an example, because that will make a heck of a lot more sense. So let's say we were integrating Let's say we were integrating uh, cosine x cubed times 3x squared dx. So the idea is we would say, I have a composition. Composition implies chain rule. Uh, and so we're thinking that we need to undo chain rule. So we pick the inside function to be our u. So we'll say u is x cubed. Now we need the derivative of u. And we're going to save ourselves a little step here and say derivative of u, uh, instead of saying du dx is 3x squared and then multiplying up to dx, we're just going to say du is 3x squared dx times the differential dx. And now, looking at back at my integral here, we can replace the x cubed with u. The 3x squared dx is du. And now we're just integrating cosine u du. That's a nice simple integral that we know how to do. The integral of cosine is just sine. Now we started with x's, so we want to end with x's. So now we can undo our substitution, replacing our u back with x cubed. And we have our integral. 